Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mafia 2. Where we left off, we were in our underwear, and we had to meet Freddy at, um... We had, we had to meet Joe at Freddy's with a gun and some lockpicks. So, let's get out of our underwear. Let me find wardrobe of kind. Would be nice. This this place is a maze. It is. Ah, oh, here we are. We'll wear a leather jacket. Stylin'. Stylin'. But I think by nature we just have the lot of picks with us, so we don't need to use the restroom. So let's leave. Oh god. Those homeless people. That's sad. That is actually like terrible. Oh. Hello city. Alrighty now. Let's get a car. Let's get our car. The liquid mobile. It is safe and sound. The snow look the snow's freaking piling up. I like it. Repair. Take. So this is the liquid mobile, right? Indeed. Oh no. Damn World War. To see, see, see if there's any good stuff on. I don't want to hear about the war. Sad stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ. Vehicle, what you doing? Freddy's. <laughs> there was someone using some pretty harsh language in the background there. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. When Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I <laughs> heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. Alright, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about we'll yesterday? See in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! <laughs> I'm running some kind of fucking charity here. Do it. Now. Chillax, bro. No one's trying to hurt you. Who was that? We're all good. We're Somebody all friends. You don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're going to collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we got to do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why is everything got to be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? <laughs> Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, button. don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're going to rob this fuck blind. All we got to do is wait until dark. All right, then. The life of crime awaits us again. Look at us. Let's get to the mall. We look so freaking legit. Like, hey, mommy, look at me. I'm a, I'm a jewelry store thief, man. Hey, so how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, hey, he's a piece of work, ain't he? Give you a job? Yeah. I worked some guys over. It was small time crap. He shakes down these hard up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? Oh, God. My mother almost did. The roads are the icy slick. Keep in touch with Derek. Trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats. Oh, 
Hunter's Point, Lincoln. Apparently, we're approaching a Lincoln Park. Really, that will that will be maybe around. I'm trying to find where that will be on the map. Lincoln Park, Lincoln Park, Lincoln Park. I cannot seem to find it, but it does exist. Joe, as much as I love you, I would recommend that you leave us alone when it comes to our driving skills. I take it to heart very, very lightly. I am very upset when someone insults my driving. I will kick you out of this car, Joe. Don't make me turn around. Drive me back home. Get out of the way, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Let's just imagine instead of talking to that guy, I was talking to the uh, the fence post. Let's rob some bitches, Joe. Wait for it to be green. And BAM! Slick on the lock. It's quite sad that we're doing this, really. It's robbing a jewelry store. This seems like the type of petty stuff that, like, Kind of got us like into the military in the first place. We're robbing small shops. Fucking O'Neill. What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard! What the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here? You fuck! Yeah, you're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here for fuck you. Fuck off, Batso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece? You better hand yeah, over yeah, everything. Yeah. You've well, got. the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. Ooh. Oh. And no one calls jo calls Joe Barbaro a fatso. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. But too late for that. Kiss my ass. Uh oh. We're in trouble now. Indeed, you said it, Joe. Run. Ignore everything else, right? We need to get into a land of zen and peace, right? There is no one chasing us, right? We're just on an afternoon afternoon jog that just so happens to resemble a jewelry store. And there just so happens to be to be bullets coming after us. Bam, bam! And we just so happen to have a gun, and we're just so able to kill dudes. Come on, you piece of shit! Open up! Okay, got it. Okay, run. come on. There does not have to be any casualties if we can say anything about it. Go back, freeze! Find the way out. There's no way out. Up and up, up and up. Fuck! <laughs> you said it, man. Oh God! If you're planning on jumping out, Joe, I don't think this is gonna go well. Bam! Oh, look at you, mister. Look at you. In the face. We gotta go this way. It's our only shot. Come on, Vito. Move your ass. I'm right behind you, man. Crazy, it's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. We got no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Die, bastards. One thing about the combat that, that can be a bit um, sad at times is that there, you can't blind fire at all. Like for me to shoot, I have to like lean out like that and uh, risk dying, which can be bad. Come on! I'm coming, bro. Like I don't know if you if you noticed this, Joe, but there were people trying to put bullets inside of our bodies. Get your ass over here! You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there! Shoot! Good sir, oh, shit, indubitably, Jesus. I do ask you to come over here right this instant. Yeah. I think I just shit myself. 
Where'd they go? They Keep it to yourself, man. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough. I'm not changing you. This way. This should take us to the street. You know, Joe, I just want to tell you that um, it, if we do end up dying here, Shit, cops. there's no one I rather would have like been Please, robbing a jewelry police. store no and died out. with than you. Oh, God. Oh, he's dead. And so art thou. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh. His legs have got to be, like, freaking in pain. And now his face is in pain. Or his face would... <clears throat> Excuse me. His, uh, his face would be in pain if he were alive. Hold F the police. Back. Hold him off just a little longer. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on. With these outfits or whatever, it looks like we're, we're just like broken out of prison. Henry's never going to believe this. This stupid bastards. Let's go. We've made it, folks. We've lived the robbery of the century. Fuck off, copper. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there are some poor bastards. Look at the Irish <laughs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. Random tidbit about the game actually pops into my mind just now. Um, Mafia 2 is actually like, I'm pretty sure, as of this recording, I was making sure there was nothing in the alleyway. It's all good. Mafia 2 holds the world record for the video game with the most, like, swearing. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, um... If you looked it up or whatever, I'm pretty sure it's like... There's like 300 F-bombs. I just want to know, right? Would it be possible for us to get the Liquid Mobile back, like, right now? Because it's... I've come to the conclusion that we would be able to get it back if we uh, went back to Joe's or whatever. Oh, I've, wa I've walked a little, little bit too close into the spotlight. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Oh god, run, run, run. I would love to change my clothes game. Oh, dear lord. These guys mean business. Vito was getting caught up. Oh no. Let's take a car. Take a car. Okay, we are on the very, 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 very bad side of the law right now. Children, do not imitate anything that you are seeing in this video that is done by Vito Scaletta. Pretty sure the radio there is talking about us, or it's talking about um, Brian O'Neill and his gang at least. But uh, pretty sure it's talking about our incident. Ugh. We have assuaded. We have assuaded from the cops. It's very nice. Right. So let's just let's just. Okay, it'd be easier just to go straight line and then make a right turn. 